In this video, let's learn about the head component provided by Next.js. When you think about search engine crawlers, a document title and description at the very least are very important for SEO. However, Next.js doesn't populate that information by default. If we inspect the elements on the about page that we have created in the previous video, you can see that the document contains a head tag, but the head tag contains very minimal information. There is no title for the page, nor there is any description. This is where the head component comes into picture. The head component helps you dynamically manage a document's head section. Let's understand how it works with an example. Back in VS Code, inside about.js file, we begin by importing the head component. Import head from next slash head. We can then include this component as part of the JSX. So inside the about component, let's add a React fragment which will now allow us to add the head tag. Make sure H is in uppercase. In between the opening and closing tags, we can specify a title about code evolution and a description meta tag. Name is equal to description and content is equal to free tutorials on web development. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, our title should reflect on the browser tab and the meta tag should also be included as part of the head section, which is really important for search engines. So title and description. Also, if we take a look at index.js, which is the create next app starter file, it also contains a head tag. It has a title, create next app, a description meta tag, and also a fav icon. If we navigate to the home page, we can see the title in the tab and the meta tag in the elements panel. Of course, specifying head tag for every page might be troublesome. So you can specify it once in underscore app.js file and the same would be applied to every page that doesn't define a similar head component. So in underscore app.js, let's import the head component and add a title and a description. Import head from next slash head and I'll add the head component to the common layout. So head title is code evolution and the description meta tag says awesome YouTube channel. In index.js, if I now comment out only the title and head back to the browser, you can see the tab title reflects that of the app component title whereas the meta description whereas the meta description still reflects that of the home page generated by create next app it doesn't say awesome youtube channel so nextjs has merged the head components from underscore app.js and index.js since index.js doesn't define its own title the one defined in underscore app.js is used. However, index.js does define the description meta tag and it is given priority as it is more specific than underscore app.js. Now the last point about the head tag I want to mention is that it is possible to bind dynamic values to the title and description since it is just JSX. This is really helpful when working with dynamic pages. In the pages folder, I'm going to create a new folder called blog. Within the folder, I'm going to create a dynamic page. Blog ID dot JS. 
Now the page code, I'm going to copy paste since we have been through this in the pre-rendering section. The page has get server side props, which returns a hard-coded article title and description. The same is extracted as props from the component and included in the head tag. So title is the title prop and the description meta tag content is the description prop. If you now head back to the browser and navigate to slash blog slash one, we see the title and the description content as expected in the document head. The tab title of course is now article title. As you can see, the head component is really helpful and I highly recommend you make use of it when creating your applications. It will definitely help with SEO. All right then, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.